Uh, today on 3D Outdoors, we're going to do an imitation coffee liqueur for keto. So a keto coffee liqueur. Uh, three simple ingredients and do a little taste test. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started putting these together. Again, we have our very professional shaker here. Got our mason jar. Works awesome. Yep, you can buy them in quant mass quantities if you need them. And cheap. <laughs> so we're going to start off, I'm going to put the allulose in first. And allulose is a? It's a sugar alcohol which uh, doesn't, your body doesn't treat as sugar. Uh, it's going to recognize the sweetness, but it's going to provide a little bit, a bit of bulk uh, and uh, flavor. And then when your body decides to do something with it, it's going to expel it. And uh, it gives you the keto, so you're not adding carbohydrates. So we're adding one cup. One cup of allulose. to the top there. Yep, okay. yep, we got a little bit to go. Should be about a cup. Basically today's barware is brought to you by a kitchen of the 50s. <laughs> if you have a kitchen and it's the 50s, uh, this is your uh, your mom's or your grandma's uh, measuring measuring cup and spoons and uh, mason jars. And sometimes the old stuff is the best stuff. And it, it, it lasts. Yeah, and it works. In, in one of the other videos, you'll see measuring spoons that uh, were probably owned by my grandmother. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're never gonna go away. Good stuff. So we'll put that one cup of allulose in there. Now I think we'll do the one cup of coffee. We just brewed some and that'll get some of that allulose in the bottom there that's stuck in there right now. Now you can use any coffee you like. Um, we're just using basic run-of-the-mill Folders coffee. But if you want your gourmet style in this drink, have at it. And if you want to add, yeah, if you want to add flavor, you can add flavored coffees, whatever you want. You can. The nice thing about these recipes are you can tweak them. Oh yeah, to, to your taste, however you want them. And then one cup of your plain old clear rum. No need to uh, get the high test stuff off the shelf, shall we say, for this one. By adding the alcohol last, yep, help clear out your uh, oh, glass. Yeah, get your uh, sanitary for later. Yes. So now we'll just put the the lid on, screw the ring down, and shake it up. We got one of the paint shakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> this mix makes at least one serving. Yeah, at least one serving. Yeah, one serving for you, a lot of servings for me. <laughs> all right, all looks well dissolved. Shall we give her a try? Yeah. And you are kind of the coffee liqueur expert in the room here. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say the color isn't quite the same. It's uh, a little lighter, more caramely. I think that's because I shook it up so much. Or... Uh, the air might be doing that. It's got an effervescent quality. It's fizzing. Yeah, probably just needs to settle out a little bit. Definitely smell the coffee in there. Coffee, yeah. Alcohol, yes. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of the alcohol sting to it, but you have the the sweetness that's definitely imparted by the allulose and uh, you still have the coffee flavor as well. 
it tastes more like sweet coffee. Yeah. It doesn't taste as much as like um, the factory brand. The factory brand there. Of course, you know, manufactured in a completely different way. This is using a, a, a keto product, which is going to have not exactly the same flavor. It's probably going to taste sweeter than um, than actual sugar. Than right? an actual sugar. Yeah. yeah. So it's not bad. I like it. Yeah. I, yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, um, it's made the rum kind of like candy, and you could probably drink a lot of this without realizing you're in trouble. Yeah, you throw a couple of ice cubes in there and cool it down, and you could uh, really put these away, I think. Yep, yep, these are, these are really good. All right, there you go. There is your coffee liqueur keto style. This is Dan and Mark with 3D Outdoors, reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. See you next time.